Wolf versus Dog. What's the difference? Though it's sometimes hard to believe, our modern canine friends are related to wolves, most closely to the gray wolf. The two animals are thought to share a common, extinct wolf ancestor. But dogs and wolves are very different in terms of evolution and behavior. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe and leave a comment below saying. I subscribed. So, what are the major differences between wolves and dogs? Read on for all the reasons that these animals are distinct from one another, and why we should appreciate them both. First, same species or not? This question is a bit complicated, actually. For years, wolves and dogs were considered separate species, Canis familiaris and Canis lupus. However, more recently, scientists generally agree they are both a subspecies of Canis lupus. Unlike dogs and foxes, wolves and dogs can reproduce, creating the controversial wolf dog. When two animals can create a fertile offspring, they're considered to be of the same species. You can know an excellent in-depth analysis of the question of wolf versus dog species classification here. And for further understanding about the dog genome, this is a dense, yet fascinating, breakdown from nature. Reproductive cycle wolves and dogs exhibit very different reproductive cycles. Like many other wild animals, wolves give birth during a well-defined time of year, typically the spring. This is important because it is much tougher for wolves to find enough food during the winter than it is during the spring, summer or fall. So, by giving birth in the spring, wolf mothers have plenty of time to raise their young before winter arrives. Dogs vs. Wolves. Appearance The obvious place to start is with appearance. Wolves' heads are much larger in comparison to their body size than dogs' heads are. But even though their heads are big, their chests and hips are narrow and they have long legs and big paws. All of these help them in the wilderness, where it can get pretty rough, and those huge paws help them run long distances at really high speeds. Dogs, on the other hand, generally have wider hips and chests and much shorter legs. They bob around more when they run, versus the wolf, who is smooth and sneaky. They also have very different jaws, which makes sense considering their diets. Wolves need big, strong jaws to crush bones, while our house canines just need to make sure they can chew their kibble and gnaw on their toys. Weirdly enough, they do have the same amount of teeth, 42. Even though the domesticated pup ones are quite a bit smaller. Eye color is another trait that wolves and dogs don't share. Dogs have eyes that range in color from blue to brown. Wolves, on the other hand, always have eyes that are shades of yellow or amber, but never brown. Their coats are also unique. Dog coats can be all kind of colors, whereas wolf coats are generally white, black, gray or brown because they depend on camouflage for survival. Wolf tails are very straight, and those giant paws have two extra large front toes, which are webbed to help with swimming and wandering through the snow. Dog versus wolf behavior the way that dogs and wolves interact with the world, and especially with humans, is very different. Our canine buddies are generally social and view us as family. They'll even learn how to read and understand our expressions. Wolves are tight with the family units they form early on, but they're definitely not accepting of strangers, and will never look to humans for affection or guidance, they're far too independent for that. Much research has been done lately about the different ways that dog puppies and wolf puppies develop, and it has been discovered that dogs are slower to develop and don't open their eyes or socialize as early as their wolf counterparts, at four weeks, versus the wolf's two weeks. Also, wolf pups are only born in the spring, so that they can become stronger and sturdier before facing winter. Domesticated female dogs can have puppies any time of year. Differing development wolves and dogs mature in very different ways. Wolf puppies and dog puppies both have several similar traits. They both have floppy ears, big eyes and short snouts. These traits are thought to be an adaptation that encourages their parents to take care of them. But wolves mature very quickly, and their parents will stop caring for them as much. Accordingly, adult wolves lack these types of features. But dogs often retain these juvenile features into adulthood. Scientists call this phenomenon neoteny. This probably occurs in dogs because they continue to depend on humans, who are somewhat like their parents, for their entire lives. It may also be a reflection of human desires. Humans often think that floppy ears and big eyes are cute features, 
So breeders have tried to produce dogs with these traits. Size differences. While there are exceptions, wolves are generally bigger than dogs. Dogs come in a remarkable variety of sizes. Chihuahuas may only weigh 4 or 5 pounds, while Mastiffs and Great Danes may reach 150 pounds or more. But the average dog probably weighs about 30 to 50 pounds. Wolves, on the other hand, are usually larger. Even the smallest gray wolves usually weigh about 50 to 75 pounds, and the largest examples may exceed 175 pounds in weight. Wolves are also taller and longer than most dogs. Some wolves even measure more than 6 feet long from nose to tail. The wolf's long coat helps to make them look even larger than they are. This long coat not only helps to keep them warm, but it also helps them repel predators and threats too. Dietary differences, although they both love meat, dogs and wolves have different diets. Wolves occasionally eat berries or other plant matter, but they primarily feed on large mammals. This includes deer, moose, elk and other large herbivores living alongside them. In fact, wolves living in areas without many large herbivores often struggle to find enough food. But dogs have lived alongside humans for tens of thousands of years. During this time, they stopped hunting large animals and instead started eating human leftovers. This includes not only meat, but plenty of fruits, vegetables and grains too. Dogs certainly love meat, but most modern dog foods also contain plenty of plant-based foods too. Scientists used to think that dogs were the direct descendants of gray wolves, but new research indicates that this thinking was wrong. Instead, wolves and dogs share a common ancestor, which makes them evolutionary cousins, rather than parent and child species. But even though they aren't as closely related as we thought they are, they still share a lot of important similarities. This makes the differences they have all the more interesting. Can wolves become pets? In a word, no. Both dogs and wolves can be somewhat trained, though a wolf can never be domesticated. Why? Because domestication is the result of years of breeding. A recent study does show that wolves raised by humans can become attached to those humans, but they never replicate the behavior of domesticated dogs. The lead author of the study cautions people that wolves should remain wild animals. Both vocal, both diggers dogs and wolves both like to get vocal, although wolves tend to howl rather than bark like dogs do. Both also dig holes, although for the wolf, this is how they look for food make a den for their pups, and find a cool spot during scorching hot months. Tease clear that there are a plethora of differences between domestic dogs and their wild friends out in nature. Though wolves are fascinating and majestic creatures, they remain out of our reach, and there's nothing like being able to give your canine best friend a cuddle, is there? Can you think of any other differences between wolves and dogs? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hit like button if you love this video. Share with friends and subscribe to support us.